This episode of the Mongrel Pirate Academy is going to be a broad strokes approach to piracy gameplay in Star Citizen with regards to how we in Mongrel Squad approach it. We're going to share with you the framework that we have used over the years that has allowed us to adapt, overcome, and exploit additions and changes in mechanics, and we want to share it with you. Our intent is to release patch-specific MPA episodes going forward, and this episode will help with forming your base of understanding of why we're doing things the way we are. All videos that we refer to in this episode will have a corresponding card appear in the top right corner linking to that video, and we'll make sure to put links in the video description. Now, whilst the four methods of piracy are different to one another, they do hold some similarities in execution. Thus, we're able to create a framework to build off to execute the different methods. If you're not sure what the four methods of piracy are, check out MPA Episode 1 that covers the types of piracy to learn more about them. What we have done is distilled how we do piracy into what we call the sequence of piracy, and this dictates how we as pirates approach pirating any target, regardless of the method that we're using. The sequence of piracy breaks down into three phases. Finding a target, engaging the target, and reorganization in the post-hit. Now, talking about finding a target, we're, we're going to skim over this point as we have an entire episode dedicated to this phase, and we highly recommend that you watch it. At the time of the release of this video, the points in it are still very relevant. Next, we're going to cover engaging with the target. This phase is where the type of piracy you engage in dictates what you do next. However, all the types have the common goal of establishing control over the target. The more control you have over the target, the more you reduce the risk of failure and increase the guarantee of profit. However, guaranteed profit doesn't mean that you get maximum profit. The different methods that the target can employ that increases risk for you and your crew cannot be understated and is a non-exhaustive list of scenarios too long to go into detail. Just remember, the less control you have of the target, the more opportunities they have to screw you and your crew over. Now let's go over the levels of control that you're able to exert over a target based on the different types of piracy. First, we have extortion. The level of control you're able to exert over your target when using extortion is minimal. The most you can do is threaten destruction for non-compliance to your demands. Next, we have ransom. The level of control you're able to exert over your target using ransom is moderate to high. When ransoming, you have boarded the target ship incapacitated or removed the crew and are negotiating the return of the prize to the owner for a fee. Moving on to looting, the level of control you're able to exert over your target is high when you're looting. When looting, you should remove the crew of the target ship completely. However, incapping them will work too, but you have to keep in mind that players will also be a quantum travel beacon to the members of their party. And lastly, we have scooping. The level of control you're able to exert over your target is the most you can achieve when scooping, because you're effectively deleting the chances of any resistance by destroying the target outright. They can't resist if they're not there and there's nothing for them to travel back to. So, now that you understand the levels of control, we're going to break down engaging a target into what we call the sequence of a piracy attack, and more than likely why you clicked on this video. The sequence of a piracy attack breaks down into three phases as well. Interception, Subjugation, and Exploitation. Interception is where your QED assets will move onto your target to prevent them from entering quantum travel, 
and your interdiction assets will begin working on putting your target into a position of disadvantage. This is where we start to see the differences in the methods of piracy. For extortion, you can begin trying to contact your target via comms to make your demands. For scooping, this is where you will begin working on destroying your target. And for ransom and looting, this is where you begin working on disabling your target, either using distortion damage or putting the target ship into a soft death state before boarding. Subjugation happens when your interdiction assets have put your target into a position of disadvantage. And a position of disadvantage can range from losing a shield face, disabling them with distortion, or destroying their engines to make it harder for them to run away, for example. So, for extortion, subjugation comes in the form of stopping your target from being able to move or making your threat, comply or die. For scooping, subjugation comes in the form of just destroying your target. For ransom and looting, subjugation comes in the form of boarding the target and removing the crew completely by just killing them and forcing them to respawn. Exploitation is the final part of the sequence of a piracy attack and bridges engaging a target with reorganization in the sequence of piracy. This involves the taking of the prize from the target. For looting and scooping, this is the phase where you collect the cargo, remove all valuables including salvaging the ship. And for extortion and ransom, this is where you receive the credits from your target and if they don't pay, you move in to either looting or scooping. This can be a very vulnerable phase since people think that everything is finished. However, this is the time where you're most likely going to experience either a counterattack by the target, an ambush by security, or even an, an attack by another pirate crew. The engaging target phase finishes when the loot is secure on your prize ship and moving it to the selling location. Once you are through with engaging the target, we move on to reorganization, which is the final phase of the sequence of piracy and is where the crew will end up moving and processing the prize, dispersing funds, repairing ships, performing medical procedures, refueling and rearming, etc. In general, you're getting yourself ready to go back out there to look for another prize. This phase finishes when all the logistics are done and everyone in the crew says that they're ready to go back out. At which point, the sequence of piracy begins again. As we said at the start, this episode of the Mongrel Pirate Academy is a broad strokes approach to the piracy gameplay in Star Citizen. And as with every framework, you can begin building upon it to establish your preferred method of engaging in piracy gameplay. So, we'd like to thank you for watching, more of these episodes to come, and we'll catch you in the verse.